an event. Oh, he's doing a lot of America. He's doing a lot of damage. What's good, America? Welcome back to the channel. It's your man, Nostalgic Noir. I'm bringing you another episode of this Def Jam fight for New York, man. So make sure that like button. And if you're not subscribed, man, join the family and become a homie. Make life easier. You get to know when every time I drop one of these episodes, man. And this is the life of noodles. Yes, indeed. I did not do any extra research. I think I said I was going to do something in the last episode about how I should make him look as far as being a D-Mob's gang. But we'll move on to that. I've been looking up some information about this game. I'm not going to upgrade my character until we can afford, until we can buy, like, all the moves. Like, the uh, the three moves, the three fighting styles, we're not going to upgrade until we get all the three fighting styles. We got a big they say you don't need to... They, I read online, they say you don't need to upgrade, so we, I'm going to try not to have to. We're just going to save our, our skill points. Oh. Alright. So you a grabber. Chess up. Come on. Ah, that's bull. Okay, well that was a, that was an awkward turn of events. Oh yeah, and this ain't, I was about to say this isn't like um. This isn't like uh. Vendetta. That boy Noodle said, let's kill this fool. But this isn't like Vendetta. When you you can actually use your your finisher multiple times in a fight and still have an opportunity to win. Bow down to the champ, chump. Bruh. Stop it. Get some help. He cleared this place out. It that ain't easy. Yes indeed. He got a blazing move called Papio Kala. I wonder is that did they try to get like um Crunchy Black and all them other boys. Juicy J. Maybe they couldn't. Hey, yo, kid, remember you take a cut of all the action that goes on behind the scenes of your fight. There'll always be bets going on, so more cool shit you pull off in the heat, heat of the battle, the bigger your cut will be. That's cool. Hey, this is Rollins. If you're not there right now, you better be on the way down to the gym. Nah, Rollins. Google told me not to F with you, man. Not even gonna cap, bruh. I let a role play my damn self, but bruh, yeah. I need to, I need to level up. Remember this dude in Vendetta tore our ass up, up and down the floor and made me almost, made me almost cry. I almost broke my controller. Because he was unnecessarily hard. Like, who is this cat, man? Fake ass blood called nine from... And then they doubled down on the, on the second game. They doubled down on all the returning characters. You could have brought back Headache or Moses or Iceberg. He sounds completely different, though. I'm not going to cap. I'm not letting you grab me, punk. Shut your ass up. Let's smash this fool. Oh, I'm dead. Let's smash this fool. Oh, I'm dead. Bro, get up. Easy. 49 seconds. 49 seconds. How long it take me to whoop your ass in Vendetta? We just got on, bitch. I'm Yo, Noodles killing me, man. Noodles out here whooping ass, though. I'm not going to care. Put that on this game. Anytime you want to go one-on-one, just let me know. 
You know, this is Omar Epps. If anybody wonder, ever wonder who O.E. is and even saw the name and still didn't realize, you ever seen Love and Basketball? The dark-ass dude, the star of the movie, who who who's the basketball part of the love? You know, that's that's him. That's him. I know, they should have gave him way more voice lines. Just like we thought, Cronus boys up in Harlem have been eyeing up our turf. Ain't nothing to be worried about, though. Bruh. So far, Ollie, Ollie done it since second rate chumps down to stir up a little shit in our clubs. Let's hope that's the end of it. Well, why they be talking like Crow just taking all the clubs then? Does d specifically say that like Crow is doing damage on the club? Look at Cruz from last game. They brought him back. That's crazy. Cruz annoyed the shit out of me. We have to do something with my homeboy. He's going to have to get him like a goatee or something. I'm changing his outfit, America. You can't lie, though. He got this lit-ass Justin Timberlake vibe going on. Any last words, punk? You gonna bleed tonight, Holmes? You gonna bleed tonight, Holmes? What? That's karate. Karate. Damn. I was about to say karate chop. Karate. Karate. Cool. We hit each other. That's that's bullshit. That's bullshit again. How he picking me up? Stop it. Get up. Wow. Damn, your hand go that your arm go that far? Stop playing with me. My man is the truth. Oh, that's dope. Is the noise that man he pulled that up? Come on, stop playing with me. Did I have my finisher and not use it? I hope not. I ain't even know that. They say you can run off shit. That's how you knock people out. Now, I usually suck at this game, so playing Vendetta really helped me. Because I done lost a lot of matches in this. Like, ex expect us to lose, but don't expect me to just raise like I did in Vendetta. Because in Vendetta, in Vendetta, it's like things you couldn't... Things you... you mm. There was no explanation of why you was getting your ass whooped. Or why they was reversing this move. Thought you was gonna run from it, didn't you? Thought you was gonna run from it, didn't you? Vendetta, they'll be reversing moves and there's no explanation like the computer just, oh, I grab them, reverse, instead of them, you know, reversing the grapple itself. I would actually grab them and then the computer would be like, oh, they reversed it. And this is like, okay, they're countering. You throwing too many punches, you got countered. Mm-hmm. Show us some fine looking thing things in here tonight, boy. He's a boy. <laughs> boy. You the man. So who you gonna take home, huh? I don't know. Can you go over the girls again? Oh, never mind. Alright, who we gonna take? Who we gonna take? We got Cindy J. We got Kamora. I don't know. I think she uh yeah, she's from Need for Speed, most wanted. So she not even a real person. That's just a, a a character from a video game that they decided to move over that because people was beating their meat to need for speed every time she came on the screen. Stop it. Get some help. Uh Kamora Lee, obviously uh baby fat. Russell Simmons ex wife. Lil Kim I wanna lit 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 from your that's Shauna. You know, she's the one that sings in that song with Ludacris. Alright, out of all these women, I'm sorry. I'm just gonna hit with Kamora Lee. I don't know why I picked hmm. I would have picked Lil' Kim actually. Hey, 
too late. Too late. Why am I not convinced? I do Lil Kim next time. Back off. Look, I, when I think of Lil Kim, I don't think of who I saw. I think of like this light skin ass, um, air bubble cheek person. Booted. Oh shit! Stop it! Stop it, kid! Didn't I just whoop your ass at a at a different event? Oh, he doing a lot of America. He's doing a lot of damage. I'm sorry, them voice lines never go stop being funny. Right. Let's go, counter. Stop playing with me. He got me. Go. Bro, why, why would, why would you, what are you, okay. 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 All right. Come on, y'all are y'all are cheesing. <laughs> What's in this bitch? Oh lord. Oh lord. Oh lord. These voice lines never gonna get old. Okay. <laughs> the voice lines never gonna get old. Bub down to the champ, chump. <laughs> Don't bother waiting up, bro. You have a new voicemail. Hey yo, it's Blaze, man. Oh, how'd he go with that honey last night? <laughs> Hit me back. D Mob set up a fight for you against the iceberg himself, Ice T. Look, I knew Ice T was supposed to be uh, iceberg from the first game was supposed to be Ice T, and this is just a reference. That's why. Look, it said it's a, a whole reference to iceberg right here. D Mob set you a fight against the iceberg himself, Ice T. This is your first big shot. Head down to three five seven whenever you're ready. All right, Manny. Ain't got no problem with that. We might do that. Uh, we we definitely gonna do that. We gonna do this one last. We gonna do all the boss. Mm. We gonna do this one. We gonna do this boss fight, no doubt. So hold on. Let me go put some outfit on. Real new outfit on for our boss fight. Omar Epps. O E. That was a horrible nickname. I'm sorry. I wonder did they ask him like Omar, what do you want to be called in this game? Or if the if the developers was like, we just gotta get Omar up a better name. We're gonna call him O E. That shit don't even go together. O E. <laughs> you you don't dance in your movies. You should have said something basketball related. Now, that would have been hard. Oh, yeah. You watch. Oh, never mind. He walked into that. What? <laughs> Why are we hitting each other? The martial art um, fighting. Damn. Damn. The martial art fighting style is pretty fast. I'm not gonna cap. Oh, 
He's washed. Now he lost. But on, I've seen a tournament game online. That's the worst shit that can happen. Because you know you lost. As soon as you do that, like, um, that fucking... You just got old, bitch. That counter, once that counter kick in and you know you down, you know you lost right then and there. And I saw somebody use a kickboxing one time. I don't know what the build was, but he was just playing as a kickboxing character, I think. I don't know which fighter it was. Could have been Ludacris. And he started beating this dude with a flurry of quick taps. I'm like, oh, shit. But I said I wasn't probably going to play that because I, I only want to do hard builds. Like, builds that make me want to cry. Whole series is just martial arts, but I want to role play. And I feel like this white kid will know more than just a martial arts. You feel me? Didn't Proof beat the brakes off your ass in the last video? How could you even text a new recruit with any kind of energy after after D Mob legit said y'all ain't shit? Tough fight last night, kid. You pulled it out. Good work. First off, how am I supposed to be fucking with D Mob also after he tried to shoot a nigga in the last game? I guess we're rant as the character. We're just someone who just bumped into him and he got a reputation in the street as a thug. So we don't know too much about what he did last game. Like we wasn't fighting in the clubs or something. And then we purposely slammed into the vehicle, to the police car. So, Yo, between me and you, that wannabe snowman is straight up whack. He used to be a part of the crew before D ditched his soft ass. He stocked some nice gear, but other than that, he's a joke. Holla at your boy. So D-Mob dropped him after he got his arm broken. I saw Can't be fucking with you, uh, Snowman. That being said, man, thank y'all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. We'll definitely have more on the way. So I hope to see you at the next episode. Like I said, subscribe, become a homie, join the family, and turn on post notifications if you want to see more of this Def Jam fight from New York. And you want to know as soon as they drop these. As soon as I said they. As soon as I drop these hot ass, hot cakes coming out the, coming out the oven. That being said, hit the like button. Hope to see you again. Till next time.